So at the end of this year's uh, speaker event with Don Marinelli, the Community Foundation announced an impact investment challenge. And we're working with them to find an entrepreneur that wants to start a business uh, right here in Utica uh, that uniquely combines art and technology, and they're willing to put up up to $25,000 to get them started. We're gonna be helping entrepreneurs along the way, but we went right to Alicia Dix to hear more about the challenge. Deadline to express your interest is the middle of April at Big Ideas 2016. Hope you're interested, and we're looking to building something awesome with you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so so Alicia, why is the foundation doing a community challenge at 25K? We really want to incentivize entrepreneurs in our region to uh, get to work and create jobs. We want to grow our economy from within, and what better way than to incentivize uh, folks to take a risk and try out their ideas and, and try to build a business out of it. Something that's new for the foundation, this kind of impact investment strategy? It is. It's brand new. Um, we've always had um, four priority areas to invest in economic development, uh, arts, education, and health and wellness. But we haven't done a lot in the uh, economic development space, and this was a way for us to really kind of plunge in um, job creation in a different way, in a more meaningful way. And again, um, being an entrepreneur is about building a network. and. Uh, the work that has been going on at the Thinkubator has started that, and we want to enhance that and um, build to greater success around um, more businesses being in business, small, in you know target uh, neighborhoods in our cities uh, and communities. So, how did you guys determine the neighborhoods? Well, the city helped us identify their um, their target neighborhoods, but there's four neighborhoods that are kind of transitional right now. They're they're kind of up and coming. Um, and we thought that if we focused the, uh, our initiative in the, one of those four areas, uh, geographies, uh, we can build greater success where there's already some success uh, in play. And any particular businesses or models that you guys are particularly interested in, who's, who should con seriously consider participating in this challenge? Well, you know, I'd like to say a non-traditional, right? Those mm -hmm. that uh, really just have a great idea um, and ha we can give them the space to try to test that idea out and see if they can be successful. But we're also looking at um, those who can bring social impact or social returns, not just revenue returns, um, and those that are looking at create creative ways of bringing art and technology together. Um, we're finding nationally that those are the, those are the biggest uh, success models out there. You know, thinking outside the box is an old cliche, but really when you have a small business idea um, and you can bring creativity to the, to the table, it, it's going to enhance the idea so much. Cool. And where can people uh, apply to participate? Um, we can, you can apply up to, I think we close out at April 13th, mm -hmm. uh, to bigideas2016.com. Uh, we do ask that everybody uh, uh, put in their uh, submission via that network. And um, we're offering through the Thank You Vader. Yeah. Um, I think early May, mm -hmm. <clears throat> early May, excuse me, a 10-week uh, cohort will be launched mm -hmm. to, for those who want to participate to help enhance their idea. And then hopefully by uh, mid-August, we will have some results and the challenge will be concluded with an up to $25,000 award uh, to the winner. Awesome. That's yes. all I need. Thank you. Great. Thank you. <laughs>